On the southwest coast of Lantau is EO, an abandoned village and one of three places in Hong Kong with resurgent rice farming. The rice farming in EO has have a long history, back to centuries ago. So I mean, um, hundred or twenty hundred years ago, and then um, things stopped in the seventies when cheap crops coming in from mainland China and then uh, Hong Kong started to quote unquote industrialize. People will leave their field and then um, they go to the factory to earn a living. And then a few years, few years ago, we started the, um, the, the bee farming again in EO. And then we'll go along with the history to grow rice. And also we have our actual observation in here is that uh, we have a good climate conditions with the valley and then also with very good water sources. And um, so uh, we start to grow rice again in here. In Hong Kong, um, we can grow two crop each year. The first crop we need to do uh, a, germin a seed germination after Chinese New Year and then we start or we finish the transplanting before uh, Qingming Festival and we will do the half harvest around 100 to 180 days late, later that will be somewhere in late July to, um, to early August and then we have to start the second crop right away and then um, we do the harvesting in late November or early December, depending uh, on the weather. For the second crop, usually we need a little bit more time because of the um, our, our weather. And for the rest of the of the year, we need to uh, wait and then prepare the field for the for the next year's uh, planting. We do it for the for the money because we got no subsidy from any of the uh, government organizations. And also, most important, we need to show people that um, we can have um, large-scale farming doing in Hong Kong. But then again, we still need to uh, have other uh, activities to support us. Uh, say, uh, some educational or experiential learning, and we want people to um, stay on the, on the farm for at least overnight, so that they can experience what uh, a village like or what a countryside is like. Uh, uh, in, in, in the whole uh, uh, growing um, or agricultural business. As the EO project began, extensive areas of woodland and shrubland were cleared. But new habitats have been created, like rice paddies, marshes, open fields, which are rarer now in Hong Kong, especially in lowland areas. Now EO is becoming home to an increasing variety of open country wildlife, like migratory birds, also dragonflies, butterflies and other insects. Beautiful flowers, some wild, some planted, enhance EO's appeal to birds and butterflies. And of course, they make it more attractive to people, whether working or visiting here. In nearby Taiyo, the project now runs a small shop in a historic building. Organic vegetables from EO are on sale here along with fair trade products from other parts of the world. There are photos and everyday items from bygone days. And you can buy organic rice from EO, Lantau's rural wonderland. <laughs> <laughs>